Hi everyone, this is uh, Loops from Simply Logic. I'm doing a quick showcase of my Jade 3 PC. Um, I think we're just going to start running through the main components of the computer and then we're going to start looking at the, the programs it can run. Um, we have a counter program, triangular numbers, Fibonacci. Um, it's also one of the simplest ones we have here. Collats, and then we have reverse collats. Um, the main heart of this computer is the main computation unit here. At the bottom we have the uh, dedicated multiplier. Then we have the add and subtractor. The left and right shifts. Um, then we have the C register, A register, and B register. All three of these registers um, pretty much just talk to the main computation unit, except for C, which outputs to the main, main bus right here. Above that, we have uh, registers E1 and E2. Um, these check if two numbers are equal to one another. And then we have parity, which checks if a number is even or odd. Um, both of these are for conditionals, um, which is the left two, two buttons right here. And this is for branching to determine which, um, which lines of code are skipped and which ones are ran. Over here we have the main uh, the main uh, memory locations. So we have general uh, register one, two, and three, and then we have the user input register, and then we have the uh, output to display register at the top. All memory locations are fully addressable. So we have the write address right here, and then we have the read address um, for a total of eleven, I think, addresses. This goes into the double dabble uh, circuit, which converts from binary to decimal. Then it goes into this, which is just a bunch of um, registers showing numbers on the screen. Um, this is the program counter, counting from 0 to 16 and then looping back over itself. Uh, when the computer's uh, off, or what I call it on, on clean, what it's doing is it's writing a bunch of zeros into, into memory, just on a loop. When we want to actually start running a program, we're going to turn on the green light. Uh, the exclamation point just means, like, don't advance the clock any. Uh, this is the how we execute a program. It goes from here onto this decoder right here. And then it's going to start talking to, uh, to ROM and start reading from top to bottom the lines of code. Um, that being said, I think we've pretty much covered most of the computer. Um, I'm going to start running colats. Colats, if you're not familiar, is uh, if a number is odd, it multiplies by 3, adds 1. If it's an even number, then it uh, divides by 2. So to get this started, we need to specify which number we're running colats on. So we're going to run colats for the number 255. Write that into memory. Turn that off. Turn off standby. Um, here we can see the read address going into the write address. On the top we can see the, uh, the op code. So multiplication, addition. Um, Subtraction and then left and right shift. Here we can see every time a number is even, it divides by 2. Every time it's odd, it multiplies by 3 and then adds 1 to it. Um, it's going to be doing this for a while, but um, I think it gets as high as about 13,000 for the number 255. Here we can see. Uh, information being written into the output register. Um, if we go look at our our ROM, we can actually see the the lines of code being toggled on and off as it runs through it. So right now this part of code is turned off. Um, when we end up getting an odd number, an even number, it's actually going to turn this off instead, as we see here. So.
It's gonna switch between these two based on the conditionals that I set on the left two call the left two uh, switches, and it's gonna do this until um, it eventually reaches uh, the number four. Number four is um, it's gonna form a loop. It's gonna go four two one indefinitely after that. I think we actually missed the largest value that this shows, which is a bummer. But I think it's going to start reaching uh, lower values pretty soon. If we look at the program once again, we have uh, this, this whole computer is going to be available for download on the Logic World website. Um, so I've taken the liberty of, of commenting each line and what it does. So. Hopefully you can try to understand how this program's written. Um, I don't think it's the most optimized way to do colats, but it does it does work. Uh, we have forty divided by two, ten divided by two. We have five times three plus one. That's that's a power of two, so it's going to go all the way down to to four. And we finally reached a. Uh, the loop in the coads program. So we're going to turn on standby, turn on the cleaning program, turn off standby. It's going to run through every address, clean the whole computer up, and then we're going to switch the program out. Take this, delete it. Uh, I think for the next one we will run triangular numbers. Triangular numbers is uh, n plus 1 times n uh, divided by 2. So this one, unlike colas, actually makes use of the, uh, uh, the, the dedicated multiplier. Turn it on standby, turn it on program mode, turn off standby. Should start to see our first value showing up. As you can see here, uh, the multiplication opcode showing up on the computer. Come over here, we can see values starting to filter into the multiplier. Um, takes two 8 bit, bit inputs and turns it into a 16 bit output. Um, 16 bits over here is the data, and then 13 over here is um, opcode and address and addresses. Um, I tried to make this computer as uh, user friendly as I possibly could, so. All you have is opcode, you have read and write. And then if you want to specify a value into memory um, within the program itself, you can actually do it through this part right here. It's just a four bit binary value and then you write it into, into memory wherever you want it. You can look at the program, we can see that it's, it's running through. This one's actually going to take, I think if I let this run, it'd take about five minutes to go through each value. It runs through hundreds of values before it hits the end. Um, so with that being said, I think we're just going to run Fibonacci, tie up the video, and then we'll call it good after that. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but I'll have this... Uh, Available for download. If you guys want to test out some of the programs I've written for it. Okay, take Fibonacci, plug it into the socket at the back. Turn on standby. Uh, Fibonacci shouldn't shouldn't take too long. Um, one problem with this computer is that it doesn't actually have a integer overflow protection. So I think we're actually gonna watch it overflow um, before it, before it's over. One thousand, two thousand, four thousand.
Yeah, after this one, after this is gonna be an over, overflow value. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to check out the computer on the Logic World website and stay tuned for version 4 of this computer coming out soon hopefully.